Vascular access is an important part of hemodialysis treatment, as this is not possible without a functioning access. In this video, we will be looking at the insertion of dialysis catheter under ultrasound guidance. The procedure is similar to insertion of central venous catheters. Complications of the procedure include pneumothorax, venous air embolism, arterial injury, arrhythmias, catheter related infections, central venous obstruction, central venous stenosis and thrombosis. Prior to the placement of jugular venous catheters, assemble the following equipment. Ultrasound machine, sterile ultrasound transducer gel, central line kit with intravenous catheter. The catheter should be flushed with sterile saline prior to the insertion, sterile drapes, gloves, gown, surgical mask, topical antiseptic, example chlorexidine or povidone iodine, local anesthetic, isotonic saline and heparin. The procedure begins with explaining the relatives about the complications of the procedure the possible risks involved and obtaining adequate consent of the patient as well as immediate relatives or decision makers. Positioning the patient Positioning the patient in supine position with a preferable flat head end to even Trendenburg position. Carefully observe for the carotid pulsations and have an idea about the probable surface anatomy of jugular vein and carotid artery. After wearing the sterile gloves, open the sterile dialysis catheter insertion set which is usually provided in the ICU. This consists of sterile cup, forceps, kidney tray, cotton rolls, sterile gauze and pads. Note that this is not the dialysis catheter set. Next, using the sterile gauze, prepare the parts for from high neck up to the upper part of the chest on the side of insertion of the catheter. The preferred antiseptic of choice is chlorexidine with a documented antimicrobial activity of up to 6 hours with a single application. However, as in our case, povidone iodine solution that goes by the name betadine can also be used. After preparing the parts, infiltrate the probable area of catheter insertion with local anesthetic. Note that this can be done after identifying the vein on ultrasound also. The preferred ultrasound probe used for this procedure is a linear probe. A sterile cover is usually placed on the ultrasound probe. However, as in our procedure, a sterile glove can be used and the probe with sterile ultrasound jelly can be placed inside and handled in this way as shown to maintain aseptic precautions. As an ultrasound conduction medium, the normal saline can be used between the glove surface and the skin over the neck. Gently place the probe over the approximate area perpendicular to the axis of vessel as shown. This projects a cross-sectional view of the neck over the probe's region. As we can see from the image, the artery is a smaller circular image portion while the internal jugular vein is a larger oval shaped structure. This can be further confirmed by holding and looking for visible pulsations or even by gentle pressure which collapses the vein and completely obliterates it. Take the needle provided with the catheter set and connect to a syringe after de-airing and filling with normal saline which can be heparinized if needed. Once the vein is located, bring the vein in the middle of the view on the ultrasound monitor and insert the needle provided with the catheter set in the middle of the line of the linear probe. Confirm the entry of needle in the line of the vein by gently moving the needle up and down to create a movement in the subcutaneous tissue and the fascia. Once this is confirmed, continue the insertion of needle with a negative suction pressure on the syringe. The moment the vein is punctured, the syringe will be filled with deep red or dark red colored blood in most of the cases. Now disconnect the syringe from the needle to check for the flow. Any sign of a bright red colored blood or blood coming at a high pressure is a sign that you have punctured the artery and you need to stop immediately. Slowly remove the needle and apply adequate pressure to stop the arterial blood from hemorrhaging. Now start inserting the guide wire slowly and gently so as to detect any obstructions. The guide wire should pass ideally without any obstruction. In case of obstructions, withdraw the guide wire and reassess the position of needle puncture site. Once the guide wire is placed, confirm the presence in the vein with an ultrasound probe. At this point, if the ECG monitor is connected, it may show occasional ectopics or arrhythmias. After confirmation, use the dilator given in the set. There are usually two dilators, one smaller and one larger bore dilator. In most cases, the smaller one is sufficient. In patients with relatively thick skin, the second larger dilator may be required. The dilator is usually inserted in corkscrew movements up to half of its length. The direction usually is towards the ipsilateral nipple. Now slowly remove the dilator with care taken not to pull the guide wire out. Then slowly insert the dialysis catheter. Once the guide wire comes out of one of the ports, push the dialysis catheter gently until required length is achieved. After this, slowly pull the guide wire out. Then check for flow of blood with a syringe loaded with 1 to 2 ml of normal saline. Gently withdraw from each port to check for smooth flow of blood. 
push the blood back into the catheter with the syringe held at 90 degrees from the ground and syringe to be pushed until 1 to 2 ml of blood remains in the syringe. This is done to prevent air from entering the port and causing air embolism. Then the port is instilled with clear normal saline or with minimal heparin. This procedure is performed on all the ports of the dialysis catheter. Once this is achieved, suture the catheter in place and place the dressing over the neck. Confirm the placement of catheter with chest x-ray. In correct catheterized individuals, the tip of the catheter will be usually located at the level of carina or 1 to 2 centimeters below it. If you like our content, please like, share and subscribe.